What is going on guys, Gap Seed here, and today I am bringing you a League of Legends commentary once again. And today I'm playing Esriel mid. Um, and this is from the new... I think this is one of my placement games, it might be. Or it might be uh, a game after my placement games. But Esriel mid is pretty fucking strong right now, or Esriel in general, with the blue build. So this is not uh, an AP Esriel, this is a full AD. Uh, I'll be rushing tier, of course, and then man immune, and then you go for the Iceborne Gauntlet, which is insanely overpowered, or not insanely overpowered, but it's insanely strong, because you get a slow proc on every Esrel Q, which is fucking insane, so it's really good for catching people and stuff like that, so he's become really popular in the mid lane as well, um, but I still don't find him OP, I've got like... So far I've got 5 and 5 or something like that, or 50% uh, win-lose uh, since I started playing as from mid. Might be because I'm bad, and it's actually OP as fuck, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I think I'm pretty decent at it, and I think this is a pretty good gameplay. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the, the placement games, because I did play my placements, and I went 5 and 5, which is pretty average to say the least I mean it's it's very average five wins and five loses can't get more average than that I guess um, and I saw so many complaints because there's there's a um, League of Legends uh, Facebook page in Sweden where uh, we have basically we have we have a Facebook page for League of Legends uh, in Swedish where people post um, pictures related uh, you know League of Legends related pictures uh, memes you know just questions about the game anything like that you know linking their stream or whatever and in that group so many people complained about their placements I mean they were like oh my god I was a diamond last season now I'm fucking silver too what the fuck right and uh, it, it's kind of funny because it feels like Riot I ended up in gold one by the way I was diamond five last season and I ended up in gold one and it feels like Riot are just... It feels like Gold has become the new Diamond, because I'm only playing against... Uh, actually, I was in Low Diamond, so there's a, quite a big difference between High Diamond and Low Diamond. Uh, diamond 5 is way worse than Diamond 1. There's quite a big gap there. It's not like Silver 5 and Silver 1. Um, but uh, I, I got to a Gold 1, but so many people complained about the rank, and it seems like Riot are just putting everyone in a shit rank for I, I don't know what reason because it's still the same rank everyone is like oh you're gold one what the fuck do you suck no it's it's impossible to get higher almost uh, I don't even think you could climb after the placement I, I only think you could go down pretty much uh, platinum one was the highest I think uh, you probably all know all this because uh, it's been a while since the placements have um, people have finished their placements but if, if you haven't played your placements and you're still wondering it's if, if you get a shitty rank don't be too disappointed because everyone got a shitty rank um, but I, I'm not that mad about getting gold one you know it's alright compared to uh, a lot of other people um, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I think about the new uh, the new Q system this is not a game from the new Q system or champions like I should say it's not a new Q. Well, it is a new Q system, but it also champ select. I'm just gonna call it new champ select, and I'm I'm not sure if dynamic Q is the new champion select or if that's just the fact that you can play with uh, more pre-mates now in ranked games. But the new uh, champ select is pretty fucking good. Uh, you can actually select. Uh, your secondary and a primary role now, so you'll always get to play one of those. So for example, if you pick mid, as I usually do, uh, as your primary role, or and jungle as your secondary role, you'll be guaranteed to get one of those two. Um, and it's it's pretty nice. Um, you know, you don't... I think it creates a p more positive attitude uh, towards league games because it used to be a lot of people you know just complaining about the fact that they had to play support and it's like oh my god I can't play support but you fucking you fucking left me with this role dude you took my mid you better fucking get a pentakill you fucker you know that kind of attitude and it, you don't have that anymore because everyone gets their best roles 
So I think in general ranked games might improve in quality because, you know, people always get to play what they're good at if they don't pick their worst role, which would kind of make no sense. Um, but I guess you could do that. But, it, you know, it's good. But at the same time, it's bad because now I can't use the excuse of, oh, I never get to play my best role. That's why I don't climb in ranked. You know, you can't do that anymore because now you always get your best role. So, uh, fuck. I'm going to have to admit that I suck. Uh, and that, that's, that's, that's not fun. But uh, no, jokes aside, it's uh, it's really good. And um, yeah, so a little bit more about my placements, because I played some new things. I, I tried to play uh, a lot of LeBlanc, um, and I love LeBlanc. I want to mainer. I wanted to mainer since I started player in the preseason, and I I just think she's such a fun champion. And you know the way I got to diamond was playing Twisted Fate, and you know, I always wanted to become a good Twisted Fate player since I saw Grosscore play Twisted Fate. But now that I'm pretty good with him, and I just feel like it's... I'm not gonna say that I would be fucking challenger if I only played Twisted Fate, but it feels like it's a little bit too easy to just play Twisted Fate, you know? I want a challenge, you know? So I'd like to play some RE games, I'd like to play some LeBlanc games, and, you know, mix it up a little bit instead of just playing Twisted Fate. So that's why I didn't play any, I think I played maybe one or two, I think my first placement game was the Twisted Fate game, because I went in with the attitude of, oh I'm gonna just fucking try or play Twisted Fate every single placement game, but then I was like, when I won my first three, I was like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna play whatever I like, a little bit of Needly Jungle, a little bit of LeBlanc mid, maybe some freaking Ezreal mid, because that's kind of strong right now. And I usually don't abuse OP picks, you know, when Skarner jungle had like a 60% win rate or something like that. It was insane. It was just completely broken uh, when he got reworked. I'd never played Skarner because I don't want to get like free elo just because Riot fucked up once in a patch. You know, I know they're going to nerf that shit. Uh, but I, I still feel like Estrel is a fun champion, so I wanted to play some ranked games with him. And I don't think he's game-breakingly overpowered. He's just strong. Uh, I think Lucian is uh, is uh, overpowered if you're gonna pick 180 carry. But you know, there are just so many things in League of Legends right now that, are, look at that fucking E block LCS big place that I just did. Not that he would have died of that kid ult, but still, it was, it was pretty fucking good. Uh, but there are like so many broken things in League of Legends right now. I mean, they need, they really need to give us more bans. Look at that Malphite ult, did you fucking see that? You can go back and watch that again, because that was golden. Uh, but, uh, there's so many, like, all broken, quote unquote, uh, things in League of Legends right now. I guess if everything's broken, then there's nothing broken, because then everything is equally strong. But I, I think there's so many good things, and you know they need to make more bans because you know there's so many 80 carries that are good but you never ban 80 carries no matter how strong they get you never see illusion getting banned and it's not often Ezreal gets banned I've seen it a few times but it doesn't happen that often usually the the bans are like Rengar, Malphite, um, Poppy is pretty broken right now like there's just a lot of champions actually that are a little bit too strong uh, and it's a lot thanks to the new masteries um, and it's it's ironic because Riot said that they were gonna uh, make the game uh, give the game more variety and different things to choose between but uh, instead everyone is just picking the same mastery and I, I think you can guess what that is yeah Thunderlord's fucking decree but thanks for watching guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this commentary. And also leave a comment uh, on what rank you got after the placement games if you've finished them, of course. Uh, but do that and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!